Hi, good afternoon. This is Afnan from Afnan Aquaponics. Another question that been frequently asked by newcomers to aquaponics is what pump uh, can be used for the aquaponics system? Basically, the pump will be depending on what kind of setup that you have. Whether you are using flood and drain, whether it is a NFT or deep water culture. So, depend on how much water that you want to flow in the NFT is quite straightforward because you are just flowing water through pipes. And in an NFT, uh, in a deep water culture system, it's also quite straightforward because the water that's flowing in the trenches uh, will need to be of sufficient volume to create a flow and not to have uh, any stagnation point. However, in, this, in the flat and drain system, it will depend on what is the size of siphon that you're using. You can see there are various types of siphon. I have built uh, roughly three sizes of siphon. The 25 millimeter siphon, which is the biggest. The 20 millimeter siphon. Then the smallest, which is the 15 millimeter siphon, which I use in the gutter grow bit set. The bigger the siphon, the more water need to be used as the inflow. Then you can, the, the smaller it is, the less water. For the gutter grow bit system, which uses 15 millimeter siphon, generally what I advise will be 500 liter per hour for each of the grow bit. So basically, if you use four gutters equivalent to four grow bits, you have four independent in independent siphon. So each of the siphon will require roughly 500 uh, liter per hour inflow rate. And those values already take into consideration of how high is the water head to the grow bed. How high the water needs to be transported. So on the rough estimate, it be 500 liter per hour for the 20, uh, 15 millimeter uh, siphon. If you use one uh, 25 millimeter siphon, which is the biggest of the siphon, which I don't really recommend now to be used to be using that big of a siphon. I recommend somewhere in the region of 1,000 liter per hour. Then, if you are using the 20 millimeter siphon, it's roughly around six to seven hundred liter per hour, but it can be less depending on how is the arrangement of the siphon outlet. And let's say you have four gutter grow bit, you just multiply 500 liter per hour, multiply by four, then you will get 2,000 liter per hour. That's basically the pump that you need, a 2,000 liter per hour pump. Uh, likewise, if you're using the, the bigger siphon, just multiply it by 4. If you're using 4 grow bit, but if you're using 2 grow bit, just multiply it by 2. However, I do not recommend uh, to use a pump which have less than 2,000 liter per hour capacity. You can use it, however, due to the small size of the pump, it can have more problem. It can fail much easier. One features of the pump that is very important is the the spindle or the shaft of the pump. Over here, I have a sample of the pump, and I'm not really recommending any particular brand. Uh, just that I'm using the Astro 2000 pump. There will be other pumps which you can get in the market. They're probably just as good. However, the one important features of the pump that you need to know is that please open it up. Sorry for the noise. Open up the pump and have a look at the shaft. 
It's a bit tight on this pump. Excuse me. Right. Look at the shaft of the pump. This shaft is made of ceramic. I recommend if anybody want to buy a pump, please look for a pump that have a ceramic shaft. This ceramic shaft will last a very long time as compared to the stainless steel shaft. So those that have used a lot of uh, pumps during their many years of uh, accompanying activity will know this because the pump will fail after a few months because it is the, because of the spindle or the shaft they are made of stainless steel so try your best to look for the pump with a ceramic shaft it's white in color it will be ceramic shaft there are few pumps in the market that will have a ceramic shaft please this is one of the most important item that you need in your accompanying setup the pumps and with the ceramic shaft pump is very difficult it is very difficult to fail and it's very reliable and will last a long time and this this particular pump is the standard aquarium pump is very cheap you can buy it from 50 ringgit malaysia to 70 ringgit malaysia that's the average uh, price for a 2000 liter per hour pump if the capacity is too much for your grow bit you can always divert the water to the fish tank rather than restricting or using a smaller pump i would recommend that you use a pump that have the capacity of roughly 2000 liter per hour because as i've been doing aquaponic for a long time the smallest pump with the ceramic shaft is the 2000 liter per hour pump so that's my advice if you are looking for pumps and there's nothing special on the pumps other than you need to look for a ceramic shaft so that it will last longer if you uh, happen to be using the steel shaft pump no problem once it fails you just replace it with a ceramic shaft pump okay right that's my advice on pumps make sure you get the right one and thanks for watching bye